birds find a shelter during the rain. But the eagle avoids the rain by flying above the clouds. Problems are common, but attitude makes the difference. This is what we believe in at DIEMS and say, let us rise above the rest. In pursuance of excellence in the field of technical education, the Maratwada Shikshan Prasarak Mandal, one of the leading educational trusts imparting quality education to more than 1 lakh students every year, entered the field of professional education on its Golden Jubilee celebration in the name of the Deogiri Institute of Engineering and Management Studies, Aurangabad. Started with 300 students in 2009, it has grown to over 3,000 students offering technical and management education with ultra-modern infrastructure and facilities. It is recognized amongst the top 100 private engineering institutes across India by Times Engineering, which is a Times of India initiative. The institute is approved by the AICTE, accredited by NAC, and affiliated to the Baba Sahib Ambedkar Technological University, Lonere, Raigad, Maharashtra. The institute offers an industry-oriented syllabus, internship from the first year itself, gives a choice of open electives from the second year and six months of industrial training in the final year, enabling students to develop knowledge as per industrial requirements. The institute offers the B.Tech and M.Tech courses in various disciplines like Mechanical Engineering, Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, as well as a Master's in Business Administration. Leaders become great not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. Creative learning, personal attention, individual counselling and valuable guidance open up a world of new ideas which infuse the motivated students and staff with positive energy and creative thoughts. This can be expressed as a unique equation. DIEMS is equal to discipline plus academics plus placements. Why DIEMS? There are more than 40 spacious and well-ventilated classrooms which provide a healthy environment for innovative classroom learning. More than 60 well-equipped laboratories with best-in-class equipments meet not only the requirements of the syllabi, but they are also intended to give practical experience to the students. The students here enjoy the fun of performing various scientific experiments. Playing with various circuit components and seeing how they work in real time is the best way to learn. Competent teachers demonstrate the experiments in the labs and the students get opportunities to explore inside and beyond the classrooms. These labs provide the facilities for performing practicals on the related concepts on each subject. There are updated software and equipment for the different subjects. Here the future engineers experiment with, test and prove theorems. Every laboratory aims to prepare students with the knowledge and ability to improve, evaluate, design and control sustainable and cost-effective technologies in order to make innovative and useful contributions to humanity. In order to ensure that the students are well aware of the required industrial standards, not just theoretically but also in practice, we at DIEMS have a fully equipped central workshop. Here, the students are not only informed about the various stages in the making of a job, but they also get a chance to perform all these jobs on the shop floor. The students complete their projects in the workshop for vehicle manufacturing and assembling of parts. Here, we make sure that our future engineers never miss out on the finest details regarding the various elements of manufacturing. The institute's library is enveloped in a serene atmosphere. It has a spacious reading room and serves the students and the faculty with more than 30,000 reference books, periodicals, magazines, newspapers and journals. Our digital library provides the students with online books and e-journals, articles, video lectures, manuals and many more. It also provides updates, study material and databases on a large scale, all of which support the academic curriculum of students. Our students enjoy the facility of an elegant seminar hall for conducting guest lectures, training programs and technical events. The spacious conference room is outfitted with presentation technology for conducting conferences, meetings and presentations. To meet the requirement of activity-based programs, short-term training programs and technical workshops, two distinct seminar halls have been provided. 
understanding the dynamics of industrial expectation at the national and international levels, this year the students have been trained by companies like TCS, TechRel and Barclays. The highest number of job offers were achieved in 2019 with offers from companies like Baijus, Wipro Technologies, Reliance Geo, Atlas Copco India Limited, Dhut Transmission, Jaro Education, Hire, Sintel and many others. The highest compensation package offered was 9 lakh rupees per annum. The girls as well as boys hostels of DIEMS is located in a safe and secure campus and it is indeed a new home away from home. Strict rules are followed and discipline is not compromised. The mess is a great place where food is cooked to perfection and where the homemade flavors and tastes and affordable prices are a hit with the hostelites. Well. The canteen is the favorite place for the students to relax from their hectic schedules. It is also the best place for students to mingle in groups. We encourage our students to excel not just in academics but also in sports. Situated in the center of our campus is a vast lush green playground where students can bring out the athlete in them. Under the NSS activity, the students take concrete steps to discharge their social responsibility by performing various activities like organizing tree plantation drives and blood donation camps, check dam construction and conducting street plays. The institute has also adopted a village Sultanpur under this initiative and are educating the local people every year about critical subjects like water conservation, environmental awareness and child education. The college frequently takes the students on industrial visits to various companies with the objective of providing them exposure to real-world problems and inculcate a practical approach. More than 500 industrial visits have been arranged so far. DIEMS has a strong network with the corporate sector, professionals and industrial experts and regularly hosts expert talks with the noble intention of keeping the students updated with the latest trends and practices in the industry. More than 350 expert talks have been arranged annually. As a part of Industry Institute Interaction, 102 of our students worked in the industry on 34 live projects under GIZ initiative to develop the students' sometimes enigmatic personalities. There are 20 active clubs in the institute. The Deogiri Cycling Club has completed an arduous expedition from Jammu to Kanyakumari giving the message save the girl child and another expedition from Aurangabad to Bhutan which had the message a pollution free Asia. The Red Hat Academy helps students differentiate themselves by providing enterprise ready Linux and open source advanced training which develops skills that are in demand. More than 150 students have been certified so far and more than 50 students have got jobs in open source technologies. SHOW 2019 was a one-of-a-kind exhibition project in which the projects were prepared by first-year engineering students under the course Engineering Exploration. These students generated 35 great ideas, worked on 12 neat statements and developed 60 projects along with the final year students who exhibited their lab to land projects. More than 6,000 visitors visited this mega event. Recently, the Institute had organized the flagship fourth international conference on computing in engineering and technology. Here, researchers, engineers and scientists from around the world participated and presented their research papers which were published in the AISC series of Springer. The Institute is well known for its dazzling academic records. The students have brought glory to the institute with consistent performances in the university exams by securing top ranks in the merit list and setting new benchmarks every year. We have excelled with flying colors in technical events as well. Team Dynamic Boosters won the general championship in the Student Cart Design Challenge Season 2 held at Hyderabad and also stood second runner-up in the Bharat Formula National Level Go-Kart Championship held at Coimbatore in March 2019. The all-girls team Tejaswini got the best cost-effective report award and visionary award in the Saur Urja Vehicle Challenge held in March 2019. Recently, team Bhumiputra won the best innovation award for the Onion Harvester in the event Tifan organized by SAE India.
A college is marked by its multifaceted cultural events that include its annual social gathering. Eminent personalities from the civil services and the industry are invited as chief guests and they are invariably a great source of inspiration to the youngsters. The festival includes various events where the students are given a unique platform to think, step forward and showcase their talents. This event has its own color and is very unique in its own way. This year too, we celebrated Quasars 2019 with the unique theme of patriotism dedicated to the brave Indian soldiers who sacrificed their lives during the Pulwama attack. Financial support of 5 lakh rupees was given to the families of the martyrs. DIEMS, providing education, ingrained with moral and social values to bring out the youth as professional and responsible citizens with character and humility beyond compare. DIEMS, an institute where the sky is not the limit and so we say let us rise above the rest hello my name is Vinayak Podar and I'm from computer science department I recently got placed in Baiju's Think and Learn private limited through the campus placement drives so along with the technical education the social skills also need to be developed uh, equally uh, and for this the college has been striving hard by uh, keeping events such as uh, inspire talks because of which the students are getting more connected to the industry and the industry people so thank you Devgiri Institute of Engineering and Management Studies for providing me with such a great opportunity to me and all my friends. Hello everyone, my name is Vaishnavi Surumke and I am a computer science graduate from Devgiri Institute of Engineering and Management Studies. Today I am placed in ASP OL Media Private Limited and the credit for this goes to the college. The college conducted aptitude trainings and soft skill programs for the students and I feel proud and privileged to be a part of DIEMS family. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Duit Kohli from Mechanical Department and I am from Bombay. I have uh, selected this institute because of its unique features like the mentor mentee scheme, which develops a strong bond between the students and the teachers. And at the same time, it also allowed me to participate in various competitive events. And also, it given me the opportunity to participate and be shortlisted in various multinational companies like John Deere and Cummins. Hello, I am Swati Kakre, pass out from DIEMS, currently working in a Microsoft as an associate consultant in data and AI. And I would like to thank DIEMS for their cooperation and support. Hello, everyone. My name is Aditya Konade. I'm a site reliability engineer at Red Hat Germany. I'm a computer science engineering graduate from the IMS with the batch of 2017. And I thank the college for their continued support and engagement. I'm Kelly Vazalde. I'm civil engineer, passed out from the IMS. I'm uh, currently working as environmental health and safety officer in MAT construction in water division. And I thanks DIEMS for their valuable inputs, support, and guidance. Hello, this is Yogesh Gawande, BE Mechanical from 2018 batch. I have started my own startup company when I was in second year in DIMS. Uh, I would like to say that DIMS is a very good institute for uh, aspiring engineering students. It has all the facilities to meet the needs of students. I am thankful to management and DIMS family. Thank you. Hello, I'm Saidi from BECSC 2018 batch. Currently, I'm working as Associate Quality Engineer at Red Hat Bangalore. I would like to say that the Institute has been very supportive and has played a phenomenal role in my success. I would like to thank the DIMS family and feel immensely proud that I got a chance to be a part of it. Oh, very good morning to one and all. I, Professor C. V. Mani, feel immense pleasure to welcome you all on behalf of Basic Science and Humanities Department, the Ukrainian Institute of Engineering and Management Studies, Aurangabad, 
for this fifth webinar on career in computer science and engineering. The Green Institute of Engineering is known for imparting technical and professional skills among the students with an aim to create a better tomorrow for the society. DIMS is known for nurturing and maintaining quality environment for academic excellence. For bringing about social change, DIMS imparting holistic training to all students so that they develop right kind of attitude, knowledge and skills which will help them to serve the nation in a better way. To cater the need of 12 students seeking admission in engineering field, Devgiri is providing them guidance from the experts of various fields through this webinar series. As you all know that coding is today's language of creativity. All our children deserve a chance to become creators instead of consumers of computer science. The rise of Google, the rise of Facebook, the rise of Apple, I think are proof that there is a place for computer science as a something that solves problem that be, be, people face every day. The most important aspect of computer science is problem solving, an essential skill for life. Students study the design, development, and analysis of software and hardware used to solve problems in a variety of business, scientific, and social context. To brief out importance of computer science and engineering, today we are blessed to have Arpita Sage, software engineer, Facebook, California, United States, Dr. Ulla Surkar, Director, Devgir Institute of Engineering and Management Studies, Aurangabad, Dr. Satyavan Donge, Head, Basic Science and Humanities Department, DIMS, and all our enthusiastic students seeking their career in engineering field. A warm welcome to one and all. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. We are blessed to have such a leader. I take an immense privilege to invite most respected person in the field of engineering education and industry who is a prominent academician with more than 34 years of experience and achieved many awards and recognitions such as Seva Gaurav Puraskar by MSP Mandal, National Lever Edupreneurs Award, Dronacharya Award by Lions Club, Guru Varya Award by Rotary Club in his extraordinary career and since the inception has been a stellar leader in a growth of this institute, none other than our beloved director, Dr. Ulla Shurkar, sir. So I request, sir, to address the students. Uh, for all the students, it is a very good morning. And for Arpita, it might be a very good evening or good night. The HOD, Dr. Satyavan Dunge, Professor Mane, all my faculty members, and my young friends. As you are already aware that we have this webinar series to make you aware about what are the different scopes in different branches so that while selecting a particular branch, because the, this faculty or branch will be with you for the lifelong. So you can take a decision while filling up the option form for which particular branch I should go. I was thinking what to talk as today the title of the webinar is careers in computer science and engineering and for me if we talk about electronics and computer science they are not different they are working hand to hand in hand in fact today's resource person Arpita working with Facebook working from US is with us Delivering or uh, delivering his knowledge with you is basically because of the development in electronics and computers. As Manish sir was talking about Google, Apple, and Facebook, just yesterday the news has been published for Apple, which is a hardware and software both. As Apple is a telephone first the mobile phone that they have crossed their value by 1.5 trillion dollars. If we go, it will be around 13 to 14 zeros on 15. This is the valuation of Apple. As there are only four or five countries are there which are ahead of Apple, their own GDP. 
if we talk of and in just last 24 months in last four, 24 months they have crossed more than 50 percent if we talk about india its own economy and the apple we are little bit ahead by apple and that is what the technology that is what the engineering what i want to say and that is what electronics and computer science i'm very happy Today we have Ms. Arpita. I share a good personal relation with her. His father and me were classmates. We studied engineering together. A st student studied in Satara up to her 12th, then engineering at Sandy, then MS and working in Facebook. That is a miracle, or that is a, we can say, the dream travel. I know his father, a well-to-do family is not like that, but an uh, industrialist or having thousand crores or two thousand crores turnover. A middle class family like me, like you, but you are there. And on the basis of the knowledge, she went to Facebook. She is working with Facebook rather. Today, my friend, the knowledge economy. I will take not much of the time because already it is a very late night, maybe around 11.15 or 11.30. Night time for Arpita. But because as she is loving engineering, as she is loving the students, she is delivering this webinar at the very late hours of the night. So you should feel very lucky. What is the best part today? We have various seminars within the persons who deliver the seminar. There's a big age gap between you and the speaker. But today it may be eight to 10 years only. So Arpita is just the one generation ahead of you. So she should be a role model for you. I request Arpita, apart from delivering what is the career in computer science and engineering, you can talk about around one to two minutes for your own developments. What are your motivations and other things that will be helpful for the students. So thank you to all of you. Thank you to the first engineering department for arranging this webinar. We'll be having two more webinars, particularly one is what are the careers after engineering? And after that, we'll be conducting one webinar on the admission process. This year, there will be some changes in the admission process. And right now, I can share you, though it is not officially declared, though it is not officially declared, but because of the recent Supreme Court decisions for JW and NEET, Government of Maharashtra will be conducting the CET. So don't be in the mood that there is no CET and other thing. Definitely CET will be there. I can't declare the date because I am not the authority, but immediately, maybe in the first or second week of September, they have to appear for the CET. I wish you all the best for your total career. I wish you all the best for your CET. And I wish you all the best for the engineering education. Thank you once again. Have a nice day. Right. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. According to Anis Swain, president of Walt Disney, define success on your own terms, achieve it by your own rules, and build a life you are proud to live. Such a personality we are having today as a guest who always concentrated on how far she has come rather than how far she has left to go. Before requesting Ar Arpita to address the session, I would like to introduce her shortly. Arpita is currently working as a Facebook software engineer in California, United States. She is having command over computer languages like Hack, C++, Datastorm, Python. She has developed 
infra and api services for the admetrix platform using different code base board bases and work on xfn projects exposing to new metrics to make advertising convenient for small businesses she has also designed and implemented an asynchronous protocol to upload uh, process millions of publisher domains for faster search she has experience of working with intelips as a software developer intern and pubmatic as a software engineer arkita work on different projects like data science lab and stack overflow question recommendation system she is equipped with skills like programming databases version control etc arpita completed her btech in computer science engineering from walchand college of engineering sangli and ms in computer science from stony brook university new york i feel ms proud to announce that she is recipient of many awards and some are as follows she won the ads dog fooding competition in facebook she has been selected among top 20 female engineers from usa for vm air code house challenge 2016 not only this she won best developer tool prize at hack are you spring 2016 and also received excellence in service award at bobmatic such an amazing personality we are having today with this short introduction i request arpita to add the session at the same time i would like to request all the students and participants that if you have any questions or doubts kindly post it in that chat box thank you so much your kar sir and mani sir for such kind words and such motivating words for the students um so hello everyone namaskar namaste uh first of all i would like to start by saying that this is an amazing initiative by sure kar sir and his colleagues and i wish i had such guidance when i chose engineering um so yeah let's um so the topic for today is a uh, career in computer science and engineering right but first of all that uh, first of all i would like to start by asking a question to pehla sawal ye hai ki kitne logon ko aise lagta hai ki computer science ke log bahut padaku hote hai uh, boring hote hai hum bade bade chashme pehante hai pura din computers ki baatein karte hai so let me assure you it is not like that hum boring nahi hote hai all of us um, are not like that at least i am not i go on hikes i paint i travel a lot i watch movies so i, I basically do everything that you guys do right so rest assured computer science ek bahut interesting subject hai and you will be fascinated by it as you learn more uh, so uh, so let me start by introducing a little bit right so my name is arpita and i am currently a computer science engineer computer in science engineer in facebook and 10 years ago i started my journey towards career in computer science ek uh, afar lahan shaharatun satara sarke shaharatun i started my journey right so i want to first begin by congratulating all of you for uh, com- for completing your 12 and taking a step towards a new journey in your life this is an important exciting uh, important exciting and yet very very stressful time of your life and i am here to help you in any way i can right so first let's start by understanding why is computer science important so before that let me start with a thought in today's world can you imagine a world which is without computers or smartphones aapke ghar mein laptop nahi hai phone nahi hai can you imagine that it seems impossible right aap pura din bore hote hain na aap aapke phone pe pubg khel pate hain na aap netflix pe movies dekh pate hain aur na hi aaj hum aise baatein kar pate hain right so that right there is why computer science matters our lives today are built around computers they touch every aspect of our lives they let us communicate with each other right they allow for free flow of ideas so if you look at industrial history computer science has been at the center of all of the major technical advancements ab koi bhi technical advancements lijiye koi bhi technical revolution lijiye pichle kai saalon ka to computer science has been at the center of it right aap um, social media dekh lijiye whatsapp फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम स्नैपचैट से लेके रॉकेट लॉन्चेस तक स्पेस एक्स के लॉन्चेस तक या फिर गेम्स जैसे एंग्री बर्ड्स पबजी खेलते हो आप वहाँ से लेके डीएनए एनालाइज करने तक हर चीज में कंप्यूटर साइंस यूज होता है टुडे सो दिस इंक्रीजिंग यूज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी थ्रू आउट द बिजनेस वर्ल्ड मीन्स दैट कंपनीज इन मेनी इंडस्ट्रीज आर लुकिंग टू हायर ग्रेजुएट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस प्रोग्राम एंड दीज टेक्निकल स्किल्स विल बिकम एब्सोल्यूटली न्यू नेसेसरी फॉर द फ्यूचर वर्क फोर्स राइट तो ये स्किल्स अब 
बेसिकली ऑप्शनल नहीं है दे हैव बिकम रिक्वायर्ड स्किल्स हर एक के पास ये स्किल्स होना जरूरी है राइट सो नाउ दैट वी हैव लर्न सो मच अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट हाउ वुड यू स्टार्ट योर जर्नी टूवर्ड्स इट राइट सो मेरे केस में uh, मेरे घर में सारे इंजीनियर्स हैं मेरे पापा इंजीनियर है चाचा इंजीनियर है बुआ इंजीनियर है सो आई हैव ऑलवेज ग्रोन अराउंड इंजीनियर्स राइट आई हैव ऑलवेज बीन सराउंडेड बाई इंजीनियर तो आई ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू बी एन इंजीनियर बट मोर ऑफ इन द नॉट दिस चॉइस इज नॉट सो क्लियर आप कई बार इन्फ्लुएंस में आ जाते हैं कि इंजीनियरिंग करना है क्यों क्योंकि दोस्त ने बोला कि अरे साथ में इंजीनियरिंग कर लेंगे या पापा ने बोला कि कंप्यूटर साइंस कर लो बेटा अच्छी जॉब लगेगी सो वी ऑलवेज कम अंडर इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ अदर पीपल राइट एंड बाय द टाइम दैट वी रियलाइज दैट दिस इज नॉट फॉर अस इट बिकम्स टू लेट सो आई एम हियर टू हेल्प यू बी प्रिपेयर एंड इन्फॉर्म वेन यू हैव टू मेक द डिसीजन क्योंकि कल आप थर्ड ईयर में जाके अगर बोलोगे कि अरे ये सी तो पल्ले ही नहीं पड़ रहा है मुझे तो डॉक्टर बनना था तो आप बन तो सकते हो बट बहुत लेट हो जाएगा राइट तब तक सो चूजिंग अ रॉन्ग डिग्री प्रोग्राम इज वेस्ट ऑफ प्रेशियस टाइम एंड मनी सो यू नीड गुड रीजन टू रिलाई ऑन बिफोर यू मेक द डिसीजन बिफोर यू डिटरमाइन वॉट फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर एंड वॉट फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी इज राइट फॉर यू सो लेट्स लुक एट सो लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग राइट सो कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग इज सो दिस इज अ वेरी वास्ट फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी राइट दिस कंबाइंस बोथ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग सो लेट्स ब्रेक दिस डाउन वॉट इज कंप्यूटर साइंस वॉट इज कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग राइट सो कंप्यूटर साइंस दिस मेनली डील्स विद सॉफ्टवेयर एंड एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज अराउंड यूजिंग द कंप्यूटेशनल पावर्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स टू सॉल्व रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम आप इसमें प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस के थ्रू कंप्यूटर को इंस्ट्रक्शन देते हो टू सॉल्व अ रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम दिस ऑल्सो कंस्टिट्यूट्स अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट थियरीज एंड टेक्नोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू सॉफ्टवेयर नव कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग जो है इट इज अ ब्लैंड ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग राइट सो दिस डील्स मोर विद हार्डवेयर सिस्टम्स एंड देर इंटीग्रेशन विद सॉफ्टवेयर सो I know this ta- this sounded a lot like a definition from a textbook, right? बहुत सारे words ऐसे लगा कि बस words है समझ में नहीं आ रहे तो let's try to take an example. ठीक है आप अपना फोन ही लीजिए तो आप आपके फोन में कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर्स और सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स का क्या रोल है ये समझते हैं सो इफ यू लुक एट योर फोन इसके अंदर जो होता है जो चिप होती है जिसपे वेरियस इंटीग्रेटेड कॉम्पोनेंट्स जो विच आर हाउस ऑन द दिस चिप राइट for example your screen your camera microprocessor um the memory all of that that is designed by computer engineers so they work with this hardware and they are responsible to make these different components work together now if you look at software engineers what do they do they are resp- they work with the operating system to so, operating system kya hota hai to jab aap bolte ho ki mera phone yaar android hai ios hai तो आईओ एस एंड्रॉइड ये जो है दीज आर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम राइट सो सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर दे डेवलप दीज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड दे ऑल्सो सो दीज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू मैनेज द मेमरी टू लेट मल्टीपल एप्स एंड कॉन्फिडेंटली ऑन योर फोन राइट सो सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर ऑल्सो राइट प्रोग्राम और कोड फॉर डेवलपिंग दीज डिफरेंट एप्स विच यू कैन डाउनलोड वी आर प्ले स्टोर और एप स्टोर जैसे कैंडी क्रश है राइट आप ये सारे एप्स प्ले स्टोर से एप स्टोर से डाउनलोड करते हो एंड द प्रोग्राम फॉर दिस इज रिटर्न बाई सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर सो इन शॉर्ट आपका फोन जो है इज अ ब्लैंड ऑफ बोथ दीज डिसिप्लिन राइट इट इज एन एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग एंड दिस एंड प्रोडक्ट लेट्स यू टेक पिक्चर्स टेक्स एंड कॉल पीपल प्ले गेम्स एक्सेट्रा राइट सो ये है कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सो नाउ अब हमने पता कर लिया कि सी एस ई होता क्या है अब अगर हम कॉलेज में जाते हैं एडमिशन लेने के लिए आपने डिसाइड कर लिया कि मुझे सी एस करना है ठीक है आप कॉलेज में जाओगे तो होगा ये कि इन इंडिया इन मोस्ट कॉलेजेस कॉलेजेस ऑफर सिमिलर येट वेरी डिफरेंट कोर्सेस राइट लाइक सी एस सी एस ई कहीं पर है सी ओ ई कहीं पर है आई टी दैट इज इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी तो ये सारे कोर्सेज देख के बहुत सारा कन्फ्यूजन होता है कि यार ये सारे अलग अलग कोर्सेज क्या है आर दे द सेम और वॉट इज आपने सो देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ मिसकनसेप्शन एज वेल राइट कि सी एस आई टी से बेटर होता है सी एस में बेटर जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज होती है एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फर्थ सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वर्ट आर द डिफरेंसेज और सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन दीज 
सो पहले आता है कंप्यूटर साइंस सो कंप्यूटर साइंस जो है इट डील्स विद सॉफ्टवेयर सिस्टम्स लाइक एडजस्टेड सो इट डील्स विद राइटिंग एल्गोरिदम्स एंड सॉफ्टवेयर टू सॉल्व रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स सेकेंड जो आता है दैट इज कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कोर्स ऑफर्ड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन इंडिया राइट सो दिस इज अ ब्लैंड ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर इसमें जो होता है इट विल बी सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट सॉफ्टवेयर प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट हार्डवेयर कोर्सेज जिसमें आप एक दो हार्डवेयर रिलेटेड कोर्सेज सीखोगे जैसे कि माइक्रो प्रोसेसर है आपका कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर आता है इसमें राइट सो दिस इज अ ब्लैंड ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर अब जो थर्ड है दैट इज सी दिस इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग तो इसमें आप थोड़ा ज़्यादा हार्डवेयर एम्बेडेड सिस्टम्स इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स इन सब चीज़ों के साथ काम करोगे राइट सो इफ़ यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंजीनियरिंग आपको सर्किट्स वायर्स ये सब पसंद नहीं है तो दिस इज प्रॉबली द नाइट नॉट द राइट कोर्स फॉर यू राइट अब फोर्थ जो आता है दैट इज इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल्सो नोन एज आई टी तो ये जो कोर्स है दिस एंड सी एस इज वेरी वेरी कॉमन राइट वेरी सिमिलर इसमें सारे कोर्सेज कॉमन है दिस इज ऑल्सो फोकस्ड ऑन सॉफ्टवेयर तो अब डिफरेंस क्या है डिफरेंस इतना सा ही है कि आई जो है इट्स अ न्यूअर ब्रांच ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग राइट ये थोड़ा लेट शुरू हुआ है एज कम्पेयर टू सी एस इट्स ये करीबन पिछले 10-20 ईयर्स में स्टार्ट हुआ था सो दिस इज वेरी फोकस्ड ऑन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एज वेल सो नाउ इफ यू आस्क माई ओपिनियन सो आई थिंक दैट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज इज वेरी सटल अगर आप कैंपस में प्लेसमेंट्स में जाते हो कैंपस प्लेसमेंट्स के हिसाब से तो वहाँ पे जो भी कंपनीज आती है दे विल इट लेट ऑल ऑफ दीज ब्रांचेस टू सेट फॉर देयर जॉब इंटरव्यूज वो कभी ऐसे नहीं बोलेंगे कि सिर्फ कंप्यूटर साइंस के स्टूडेंट्स लेंगे हम या सिर्फ आईटी के स्टूडेंट्स लेंगे राइट तो प्लेसमेंट्स के अंदर क्या होता है दो चीज़ें होती है फर्स्ट इज एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट राइट ऑल्सो नोन एज कोडिंग टेस्ट आफ्टर दैट इज फॉलोड बाई टेक्निकल इंटरव्यूज बेस्ड ऑन योर नॉलेज ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स डेटा बेस्ड मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम्स नेटवर्किंग एलगोरिदम्स एक्सेट्रा सो so based on this um, but if you look at all of these courses they are common between computer science and it so all of these basic courses are taught in both the branches so if you look at placements they are very similar and there's not a lot of difference in terms of these right so now that we understood all of this let's also look at what does a degree in computer science look like ab kahoge ki main 4 saal invest kar raha hu isme so you should know right कि आपके चार साल में आप क्या सीखोगे वॉट विल यू लर्न वॉट आर यू डेडिकेटिंग दिस फोर ईयर्स टू राइट बिल्कुल सही तो अब इन चार साल में क्या होता है कि देर आर एट सेमेस्टर्स राइट सो दीज एट सेमेस्टर्स हैव अ वाइड अरे ऑफ कोर्सेज रिलेटेड टू जनरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियर कंप्यूटर साइंस सो फर्स्ट ईयर में जो होता है आपके बहुत जेनरिक कोर्सेज होते हैं जैसे फिजिक्स होता है केमिस्ट्री होता है लीनियर अल्जेब्रा होता है कैलकुलस होता है तो दिस इज़ वेरी सिमिलर टू वॉट यू स्टडीड इन योर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड राइट बट ये थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा एडवांस है आपके ट्वेल्थ क्लास से एंड देन देर आर ऑल्सो कोर्सेज दैट इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू कंप्यूटर साइंस जैसे कि कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग हो गया आप सी लैंग्वेज सीखोगे कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स होगा राइट सो दिस इज योर फर्स्ट ईयर नाउ आफ्टर दैट फ्रॉम सेकेंड ईयर ऑनवर्ड्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री ईयर्स यू विल बी स्टडिंग थियरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल्स रिलेटेड टू कंप्यूटर साइंस कोर्सेज अब इसमें आपके सारे इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट्स आएंगे विच विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ लर्निंग कंप्यूटर साइंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ जॉब प्लेसमेंट्स एक्सेट्रा सो लेट्स लुक एट सम ऑफ दीज कोर्सेज दैट यू विल बी लर्निंग थ्रू आउट द नेक्स्ट थ्री ईयर्स राइट सो द फर्स्ट वन ईयर इज डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स तो सो लेट मी टॉक अबाउट लिटल बिट अबाउट डेटा आप कंप्यूटर साइंस की कोई भी ब्रांच ले लो जैसे आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस हो गया मशीन लर्निंग हो गया या फिर डेटा साइंस होगा हो गया इन सब चीज़ों में डेटा इज़ द मोस्ट क्रूशियल एंटिटी राइट विदाउट डेटा यू कैन नॉट डू मच इन कंप्यूटर साइंस सो डेटा इज़ द मोस्ट क्रूशियल एंटिटी एंड डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स आर लाइक कंटेनर्स दैट हेल्प यू इन स्टोरिंग दिस डेटा इन एन ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर्म नाउ ईच डेटा स्ट्रक्चर हैज़ अ स्पेसिफिक ले आउट राइट एंड इट लेट्स यू परफॉर्म सम ऑपरेशन इफेक्टिवली फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपको अगर बताया जाए दट स्टोर अ लिस्ट ऑफ नंबर्स इन अ सॉर्टेड वे तो आप क्या करोगे कि आप ये अरे डेटा स्ट्रक्चर लोगे जो मैंने यहाँ पे दिखाया है सो दिस डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इट विल लेट यू स्टोर ऑल ऑफ दीज नंबर्स ऑफ द सेम टाइप विथ लाइक डिफरेंट इंडेक्सेज डिफरेंट इंडाइसेज ना वट हैपन्स इज दैट वेन दिस लेट्स यू डू लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑपरेशन जैसे आप यू कैन इंसर्ट मोर डेटा इन टू दिस और यू कैन सर्च फॉर डेटा और यू कैन रिट्राइव डेटा लाइक इंडेक्स टू पे क्या नंबर है य
अ लॉट ऑफ अदर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स राइट जैसे है बाइनरी ट्री है स्टैक्स है क्यूज है सो यू विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दीज डिफरेंट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स इन दिस कोर्स एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कोर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ नॉट जस्ट प्लेसमेंट बट ऑल्सो फ्रॉम योर जॉब परस्पेक्टिव बिकॉज ये ये ऐसी चीज है जो आप बार 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 यूज करते रहोगे एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर वर्किंग विद कंप्यूटर साइंस राइट सो नेक्स्ट इज अलगोरिदम्स अब अलगोरिदम्स जो है दे यूज डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स इफेक्टिवली डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एज वेल एज जो कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस सीखोगे आप सो यू यू विल यूज बोथ ऑफ दीज टू फॉर्म अ सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट यू कैन गिव टू द कंप्यूटर टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम एट हैंड तो मान लीजिए कि मैंने आपको एक प्रॉब्लम दिया कि um, create a telephone directory right says that main kisi bhi person ka naam lo man lo mera naam lo to mera naam enter karne pe aapko mera number dhoondna hai right so to create a telephone directory that can solve this problem you need to write an algorithm right you need to write an algorithm to feed it to the computer so that it can understand what is the program about what is what uh, how does it have to construct a telephone directory right so writing a solution like this is called writing an algorithm तो नेक्स्ट इज नेटवर्किंग अब ये तो आप सब जानते ही है आप एक दूसरे को मैसेजेस करते रहते हैं आप ईमेल्स करते रहते हैं राइट सो नेटवर्किंग इज नथिंग बट स्टडी ऑफ इंटरनेट इट इज स्टडिंग हाउ डेटा और इंफॉर्मेशन इज सेंड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू वन अदर हाउ टू हाउ योर ईमेल्स और टेक्स्ट मैसेजेस गेट डिलीवर्ड हाउ टू सिक्योर दिस ई एंड योर डेटा राइट सो इट ऑल्सो कंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी एंड सो ऑन so this is another important subject that you would have to learn in these four years so the next one uh, the next important subject that i want to talk about is a uh, database management system right so let me explain this with an example man lo ki aap ek bank hai usme hazar logon ke accounts hai right thousand people have their accounts in this bank aur aapko isme kai sare transaction karne hai jaise uh, man lo mera account hai to if i am removing money from atm then it should get debited from my account right or if i go deposit some money in the bank then it should get credited the right amount should get credited to my amount to my account and not my neighbor's account right ya fir maine agar balance enquire kiya to mere hi account ka sahi balance mujhe dikhna chahiye and so on so there are all these different transactions so for that banks use database management systems they store all of this data in a, in a database and the database management systems let them do lets them do all of these different interactions with the database in a secure way so that data is protected and then you get all the uh, all the information that is required right to ye hue thode se important courses iske alawa aur bhi kai sare important courses hai which i can't cover here because of lack of time but there are courses like operating systems there will be courses on uh, artificial intelligence there will be courses on machine learning uh so all of these courses are very important right so you will be learning about all of these in the next in the uh, next 3 years of your engineering iske alawa you will also be learning different programming languages jaise c hai c++ hai java hai python hai so on so ye languages to aap uh, ko kafi sari languages seekhni padegi because different uh, companies require different languages they have different requirements right so that changes with that so now that we have looked at all of the course structures let's answer the most important question that all of you i'm sure want the answer to that is maine 4 saal ka engineering kar to liya aage kya what are my job opportunities main kis tarah ke jobs kar sakta hu kar sakti hu in this field right so let's look at some of the uh, job opportunities and these are not the only ones iske alawa kai sari aur jobs hai right so the first one and the most common one is software engineer or systems engineer सो so, ये जो है ये सबसे कॉमन रोल है दीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर्स और जावा डेवलपर्स आपने कई सारे नाम सुने होंगे इस रोल के तो इसमें कई सारे टाइप्स है जैसे फर्स्ट इज बैक एंड इंजीनियर दीज पीपल और सिस्टम्स इंजीनियर दीज पीपल वर्क विद ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स दे वर्क विद कर्नल कोडिंग एंड सो ऑन देर आर ऑल्सो फ्रंट एंड डेवलपर्स दे वर्क विद लैंग्वेजेस लाइक जावा स्क्रिप्ट पी एच पी दे डेवलप द वेबसाइट दे डेवलप द फ्रंट एंड फॉर टूल्स एंड सो फॉर सो द थिंग्स एट विद Which you can interact, right? Now, uh, another uh, type is that which are full stack engineers. Full stack developers, who are they? They work across the stack. They do a little bit of front end. They do. Uh, they do a little bit of middleware. They do back end, right? So these people work across the stack. So they are called full stack developers. So there are many other roles. Hai, based on your interest, you can choose to be a mobile developer. You can choose to be a back end developer, or whatever you like to do. 
ठीक है अब अगला जो है जो अभी रिसेंट टाइम्स में काफी फेमस हो रहा है विच इज डेटा साइंस सो डेटा साइंटिस्ट सो इन लोगों का जॉब क्या है कि दे टेक अ लॉट लाइक अज अमाउंट ऑफ अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डेटा जिसमें कोई स्ट्रक्चर नहीं है दिस इज रैंडम डेटा एंड दे टर्न दिस क्योर्स इन टू यूजफुल इन्फॉर्मेशन रेट विच कैन सॉल्व कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम अब इस जॉब के लिए आपको थोड़ा का आगे की पढ़ाई भी करनी पड़ेगी शायद यू माइट हैव टू डू कोर्सेज रिलेटेड टू डेटा साइंस और यू मे इवन हैव टू परस्यू एम टेक एम एस और पी एच डी इन दिस फील्ड राइट सो दिस इज द न्यू एंड अपकमिंग फील्ड अनादर न्यू एंड अपकमिंग फील्ड इज ए आई एंड एम एल स्पेशलिस्ट ए आई एंड एम एल इंजीनियर वट दे डू इज दे रोल इज टू बिल्ड स्मार्ट मशीन दैट परफॉर्म टास्क विच टिपिकली रिक्वायर ह्यूमन लाइक इंटेलिजेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप अलेक्सा देख लीजिए या फिर आप सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार्स देख लीजिए अब ये ऐसे काम है जो अनटिल नाउ ह्यूमन्स हैड टू डू इट राइट कार्स सिर्फ ह्यूमन से ड्राइव कर सकते हो और कोई नहीं ड्राइव कर सकता बट विद सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार्स वी आर चेंजिंग इट द कार कैन ड्राइव इट सेल्फ सो वी आर बिल्डिंग स्मार्ट मशीन राइट विच कैन लर्न एंड इवॉल्व सो दस द वर्क ऑफ ए आई एंड एम एल इंजीनियर वेर दिस स्टडी दिस डिफरेंट मॉडल्स दिस स्टडी दी एप्लीकेशन and so on so even for this you would you might have to do uh, some further courses some further study in this field so the next is web developer this is similar to um, software engineer but this is more focused on uh, front end right so these people they develop websites they develop uh, the interactions that you can do through this website and so on there are other jobs such as data analyst and business analyst now these people uh, they are similar to data scientists but it's slightly different in the sense that they take uh, the information related to a business and they do market analysis trend analysis uh, stuff like that so they they basically find useful information in this data that can help the business maybe grow its uh, user base or maybe grow its customer base or, or grow its like demographic share and so on right now there is also a different kind of job which is like it program manager so ye aapke upar ke sare job se thoda hatke hai because this is not as technical isme thoda sa zyada managerial aspect bhi hai right so along with your computer science uh, degree you might also need mba uh, because these people they understand not just the business and the technical aspect of it but they also understand the managerial point right they manage the program from in terms of staffing they drive the project to completion etc right so and these are just a few examples of uh, jobs that you can get in after doing a degree in computer science there are a lot more such as you can be a computer hardware engineer or you can be a network security uh, specialist you could be a database administrator production engineer and so on this like a lot of jobs that you can do in this field right so now that we looked at job some of you could also be interested in further studies so there are a bunch of options for you right so first is like ms ms jo hota hai it's a two year course uh, it's typically done abroad uh, and you can do it in different specializations you can uh, do ms uh, specifically catered towards data science you can do it specifically catered towards networking and stuff for ms you would have to give exams such as gre toefl uh, ielts and generally you would be going to countries like either usa canada australia germany etc right so you can do in any of these countries ab next jo hai that is mtech mtech or ms bahut hi similar hai it's the same course but mtech is offered in india for which you would have to give the gate exam ab uske agla jo hai that is phd so this is slightly more advanced this is a five years course um isme aap pehle do saal will be similar to your ms but the next 3 years will be very specific to your own specialization right the next 3 years you will be working on writing a thesis doing research in your field publishing papers and so on so these people uh, spend 5 years doing research and they generally get appointed for research related uh, research related positions in the industry so they don't become like software engineers and so on they will probably go towards like research data scientist positions like that अब अगला जो है दैट इज एम बी ए सो दिस इज नॉट टेक्निकल राइट दिस इज अ मैनेजमेंट रिलेटेड कोर्स फॉर विच यू वुड हैव टू गिव कैट सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर डिफरेंट ऑप्शन एंड ऑफकोर्स इसके बाहर भी बहुत सारे ऑप्शन है यू कैन डू सेपरेट स्पेशलाइजेशन यू कैन डू टेक कोर्सेज रिलेटेड टू अ स्पेसिफिक फील्ड एंड सो फर 
So now that we have covered all of the technical aspects of uh, a degree in jo and job in computer science, I would like to stress on one important thing. This is really, really important. And that is that in the next four years, please also strive to develop your non-technical skills, also known as soft skills, and uh, such as com communication and collaborations along with your technical skills. So let me share a little bit of my experience, right? In my experience of conducting interviews, I come across a lot of candidates with really perfect resumes. In K 10th, mein 90 percent honge. In K 12th, mein 92 percent honge. In ka pure engineering, mein 4.0 GPA hoga, perfect GPA, right? But when I actually meet them face to face, they're not able to express themselves, right? It it is very hard to understand their ideas, their thinking. Um, if I ask them a question outside of their syllabus, they are not able to answer that. So, th so that makes me believe, that makes me think that it's okay to get like a 3.7 instead of 4.0, as long as you are focused on learning and improving your technical as well as soft skills, right? This is secret secret that companies are looking for team players. They want people who can express their ideas and views effectively, right? They want So invest your time in learning new things and growing because your GPA is so important, your personality, your ability to communicate, uh, to grow, that is more important, that is a more valuable asset, right? And that will open up so many more opportunities for you. So I will tell you a secret. Batati. The thing is that your resume jo hai, that is your representative when you apply for a job. So that is you on paper, right? Your resume is in front of you, what you are doing. And you have applied for many people. Like thousands of people would have applied for the same job along with you. So how will you see your resume from others? Right? To make your resume interesting, you have to become an interesting person, right? You have to stay updated. Computer science is a very ever-changing field. Hai. So you have to learn in the past four years, that knowledge is also in the past four years, right? It is just a starter, no, starter uh, for getting you started in this career, right? So everybody who did the course with you has the same sort of knowledge. Sabka resume is same. Dikhega. That's why you have to invest your time in learning new skills, in staying updated, up new skills sikhe, jase, um, industry mein kya naya chal raha hai, uski khabar rakhiye, aap hackathons mein participate kariye, conferences mein participate kariye, apni social skills pe dhyan dijiye, right? Aapke colleges mein, jase alag alag clubs hai, photography club hai, uh, cycling club hai, kuch, uh, jase college ke events bhi hote hai, us mein participate kariye, organize kariye, so that you can also learn some managerial skills out of that. So all I want to say is that it's very, very important to focus on your soft skills as much as you focus on your technical skills, right? And then I have one parting thought, ki agle char saal mein, please, 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 apni assignments, kabhi bhi copy mat karna, khud apni assignments, padke uh, karna, taki jab exams ho, interviews ho, to aapko rona nahi padega. So please. Um, and that's all from me. Thank you so much. Um, Mani sir, back to you for questions and answers. We are very much sure that your experience in computer engineering field will definitely help students who want to pursue their career in computer science and engineering. Now, we'll move towards the question and answer session. So the first question is from Rahul. Why students are attracting towards computer branch in recent years? Sure. Um, so like I said before, computer science has become a part of our everyday life, right? Right from your phone, your laptop, uh, aapka smart TV, social media sites, her cheese may computer science is important, right? So and not just that, there are multiple factors. So one computer science has has been evolving a lot in the past decade or so, and there's still a lot of innovation to be done. So this is a very promising field. It has a very stable career. It has high paying jobs. And the job satisfaction is pretty high as well. So if you have your code, you have your code, you have your code, you have your job satisfaction or kya ho sakta hai. So I just feel that these are all different factors um, that attract the students quite a lot. And 
that's also because computer science has been playing a huge role in today's industrial revolution you go okay thank you arvita next question mm -hmm. is from nilesh how ai and ml plays important role in industry 40 4.0 sure um so let me give you an example right ye covid ke times mein it has been hard to get food delivery so when i walk around yahan pe jaise people have started restaurants have started using these small bots right ye chote chote bots hai itne jisko aap khol ke usme khana rakh sakte ho usko laga ke aap road pe chhod do so it will go it will go to the address uh, deliver the food and come back so these are small bots right to ye itne intelligent hai कि दे अंडरस्टैंड ट्रैफिक रूल्स उसके सामने कोई ह्यूमन बींग आए तो दे कैन फाइंड अ डिफरेंट रूट टू गो टू द प्लेस सो सो दिस इज ऑल ए आई एंड एम एल राइट ये आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का कमाल है दैट वी कैन गेट डिलीवरी बॉट्स लाइक दीज और वी कैन गेट रोबोट्स लाइक दीज टू डू थिंग्स दैट वी यूज टू हैव टू डू आर सेल्स बिफोर तो इंडस्ट्री फोर पॉइंट ओ क्या है दिस इज दिस इज इफ यू विल इट इज द फोर्थ इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन राइट वेर it's it's also called like a smart factory revolution so isme jo hai we are adopting technology and automation and we are using smart technology uh, fueled by data and machine learning right so it is a combination of internet of things internet of systems and uh, so you don't so machines can take decisions by themselves they can interact with each other without human intervention and this is only possible because of ai and machine learning and so i would say it's not a role in fact ai and ml is at the center of this industry 4.0 revolution arpita one question is from my side sure should i ask one question sure definitely what i when i was talking with the students what i requested them that you should be their role model and i asked you to share something sure if possible can you share your salary package with the students uh that i think i'm very happy to listen i know it i know it what is your salary package you can share see this student should be motivated so i can give you the industry standards according to what uh, what industry standards are in us so let's say if you did ms uh, in computer science in united states right so the basic packages that are offered to students when they graduate like not just by facebook but by microsoft google whatever right any companies that hire ms students so the basic package is around like 100k uh, so 100k dollars so that's where your packages start depending on the location so it might differ from whether you are in california whether in you are in new york and so on um so yeah that's that's mostly the so it might be minimum 70 lakhs if we talk about the indian rupees sure but you should also put it by sections here and uh, for the students arpita is not working with the basic pack i am knowing sir yeah so this is a great part what i want to say this is the return of education if you take a education in a good manner this will thing thank you arpita now i'll take you sure ani sir you can permit me to go out yes sir and next question is how many indians are working with you in facebook this is a question from krishna sure um so there are a lot of indians uh, not just here but in mostly all of the technical uh, companies if you look at uh, if you look at google facebook microsoft they've been hiring a lot of people so they have been hiring from a lot of good colleges in india a lot of students after their btech come for doing masters or they join companies like google microsoft and come offshores for doing their projects so i would say that uh, there's a lot of indians here so you wouldn't have to worry about that okay next question madam uh this question is from varsha mm -hmm. are there any colleagues who have btech degree from india and no us degree uh yeah definitely so companies like uh, google microsoft they also hire btech students in india and uh, these students they can also get to go offshore right for projects on l1 visa and stuff like that so and also like a lot of indian companies such as accenture tcs they have tie ups with a uh, lot of industry a lot of companies here 
so they also send people for offshore projects they also have ties with the companies here in terms of project deliveries and so on so there's there's definitely scope for you uh, to be to have a career here without pursuing a degree here okay uh, next question is from keshwari devi if mm-hmm. i do a de- if i do a degree in computer science and then i pursue mba what are mm-hmm. the business opportunities ahead so uh, with mba and computer science you can have a lot of different business opportunities right like i said you can be a program manager you could be a technical program manager um there are project managers so there are a lot of different uh positions here which are related to management but which also require you to have technical knowledge right so if you have done a degree in cs and if you have if you are then pursuing a degree in mba uh, then that gives you a leverage to leverage both your technical skills and your managerial skills to be in positions uh, of like leading the projects of um, basically finding the solutions for technical problems and so on okay next question is from rahul nalawde Mm-hmm. do you like do you like working in facebook what makes so special what is your work life balance sure um so i definitely enjoy working here and what makes it special is that um just the realization that i always thought that this was my dream and i'm living it now uh, that feeling always makes it special but more than that what i love about um uh, working here is the work culture right i have had some amazing mentors in the last three three and a half years that i have been here i have got to work on some really good projects where i have uh, you know developed quite a bit um so th- that's one good aspect of learning uh, of working here and then if you ask about work life balance it's generally not that bad i personally work from 9 to 6 and that's it after 6 pm i cut it off i do other things i play piano i do something else so it it doesn't have to be work 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 all the time just because you are working in a constantly changing industry okay this question is from devendra can you mm-hmm. please tell me about off campus placements about off campus placements placements yeah uh, so i do not have a lot of uh, knowledge here but from what i know there are uh, there is at least for computer science there is a huge scope uh, if you if you don't have to go for on campus placement there is still a lot of opportunity off campus right you can still apply to all of these companies uh, off campus as well it's still a standard interview process right you would still be doing the technical interviews just the way you would have done in uh, on campus you might also have to go through some people that you know for references and stuff like that but other than that the um, interview process should still be very similar and the technical skills required should be still very similar so i don't think it differs in that sense okay next question is from pranjal i am mm-hmm. confused what should be i take after 12th in engineering okay so so just like i said this is a common confusion for a lot of people right um people are confused between electronics they don't know whether they should go for mechanical or computer science or electrical right so this totally depends on what interests you so you should also look at one thing that i would advise is also look at the core structure of all of these different engineering branches that you are considering right look for their job opportunities look for uh, the courses that they will be offering if you see that oh computer science has all of these courses but i'm absolutely not interested in these courses i don't know how to um, program or i am not interested in learning programming then that's not a course for you so you have to decide based on that uh, but i think it's um, it also you also have to be smart in the sense that what kind of ambitions do you have right what kind of jobs do you want or do you want to open your own startup or like do your own business or something it so it totally depends on what you want but i would advise that look at the course structure look at the job opportunities look at the market and see basically where would you get the most return for investing four years of your life
Manasar, I think I lost you. Sorry for interruption. No worries. It's all right. Yes. Next question is from Rishikesh Falke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we get stability in one company as computer engineer, or it is better to keep on changing? Um, so it is. It it uh, totally depends on what company you are in, what kind of work you are doing, right? So more than stability, what I think is important is to realize whether you are learning and growing or not, right? If you are stuck doing the same job for uh, more than a year, then I think it's time to switch. If you have been doing the same things over and over, you're not learning anything new, that's a good time to switch. So don't look at it from the stability perspective, Mo look at it more from where can I learn more, right? So if in your current company, if you are not happy, if you're not learning anything new, I would suggest that you should just switch the company at that point. Okay. Next question is from Rohit. If I complete my graduation in CAC from Aurangabad city, Will it be a will it be a barrier for me to join companies like Google, Facebook, and Microsoft? That is definitely not true. Um, like you know, I am from a very small city called Chatara, and I did my engineering in a city that's called Sangli. I don't know if all of you know. It's in Maharashtra. It's a small city, so I did my engineering from Walchand College. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not required that you have to go to Pune, you have to go to IITs, you have to go to I, um, like you know all these major institutes to join big companies. It's not true. As long as you're going to any good universities, be it in Aurangabad, be it in Sangli, it doesn't matter. As long as you're going to a good university, investing four years of life and really uh, focusing on learning, um, it doesn't matter where you do your engineering from. Okay. Next question is. During four years of graduation, mm -hmm. what I should do apart from my regular syllabus? OK. Uh, so like I said, really, really uh, focus on soft skills, right? Uh, it is very important along with your technical skills. And one suggestion that I would give is that um, during your four years course, every year you would have three months of summer break, right? Try to use that summer break to do internships in different industries, different companies. It could be small local startups near you. It could be big companies or it could be anywhere, wherever you can learn a little more, gain some industrial experience related to computer science, right? Because these things go on your resume. That These are the things that make your resume interesting, not the courses that you took in college. So I would suggest that apart from your regular colleges, go to hackathons, go to conferences, uh, do internship every summer, try to gain industrial experience as much as you can. Okay, next question is, foreign language training like Japanese, German will help me? This question is from <laughs> Varsha. Sure. Um, so if you're going to Germany, for your job or for MS, sure, uh, please learn German. But other than that, you're not really required to have a knowledge of all these languages, right? Like German or Japanese or anything, because uh, unless you are doing a job in that sector, what is more important is to be fluent in, um, you know, in your technical skills, to be fluent in uh, English, to be a, or in Hindi, whichever language you communicate in, uh, to be able to express yourself effectively. That is more important than learning numerous other languages. Of course, it is you are highly encouraged to learn these languages if you are interested in that, but it's not a requirement for this job. OK, this question is from Deepak. Somebody told me to have some certifications. Should I go for it? What are the advantages? So it depends on the certificates, right? If they're related to computer science, like if they're related to data science, AI, ML, if that's something that you're interested in, definitely go for certificates, they'll never hurt. 
uh, but other than that um, just because somebody saying it and if they are not relevant to, uh, to you if they are not important then i wouldn't suggest doing it um, most of the things that are required for a job are already taught to you in the four years of computer uh, science degree right so you don't have to go and additionally do uh, certificates unless they are related to some specialization that you are actually really interested in other than that they are not required for a normal software engineering or software developer job okay next question is from devendra mm -hmm. does course of hackathon and other matters in placements they don't matter as such but they do um, play play a good role right um, to enhance your resume because uh, companies are also looking for not just people who are uh, smart on paper but who are actually smart so if you're going to hackathons doing things there building new projects that puts a lot of weight on your resume right so you can show these projects that hey i built something innovative in 24 hours this is the project that i did with my colleagues so this was a team effort right i i built something very cool in hackathons so all of these things just add up to show that you're going above and beyond to be technically adept in your field but they are not required but i would suggest that you go for that okay next question is from rio mm -hmm. i am confused confused to choose simple btech cac or specialization with cac like artificial intelligence and machine learning um sure so i would say that if you don't really know what artificial intelligence and machine learning is if you haven't still uh, gauged you know that if you are interested in that or not if you like mathematics and statistics or not these are a, a lot of questions right which you might not be aware of so in that case you can always go for general csc general btech and uh, take all these different courses and by the time you get to second year third year you can assess it for yourself oh does operating system uh, do i enjoy operating systems more or do i actually enjoy ai more if you do then you can always pursue post graduation in that right or so it depends if you don't really know if you are interested in ai and ml or not then i would suggest do general engineering also learn about other facilities that cs has to offer right okay there is one more question from keshwari devi can you mm -hmm. suggest some extra add on courses while i am pursuing my degree uh so like i said it it depends on like what you want to do after your course right if you want to uh be a software engineer then i would suggest you do courses which will teach you different uh programming languages such as c c++ um if you have already learned them in college then try to learn other languages that are currently trending in the industry such as python um you could learn r or you know just any language that is currently trending in the industry but if you are going for specialized um jobs such as data science then i would recommend you do courses in data science uh, as an addition to your regular degree program so it depends on what kind of job you are looking for or what your objectives are after that okay almost all questions we have covered arpita mm -hmm. thank you thank you very much arpita for your explanation for so for solving doubts of our students no now to propose out of thanks i would like to invite dr satyavan donge professor and head basic science and humanities department dims aurangabad a warm afternoon to one and all on behalf of basic science and humanities department devgiri institute of engineering and management studies aurangabad it's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those for successful conduction of this webinar on career in computer science and engineering my first and foremost thanks to arpita seit software engineer facebook california united states who spare time from her busy schedule to grace the occasion today we had an opportunity to hear your thoughts and your thoughts have enlightened students minds and have shown them a new path towards bright future i express my deep gratitude towards our patrons honorable shri prakash solanke president marathwada shikshan prasarak mandal honorable shri satish chawan secretary mspm and honorable shri sheikh salim sheikh ahmed vice president mspm and all management for their support i would also like to thank our director dr ullas shurkar for 
fostering a sense of support and appreciation that allows us as educators to improve ourselves and to conduct such kind of programs which are beneficial to all the society i extend my gratitude towards all head of departments and all faculty members for their cooperation my special thanks to professor c v mane coordinator of this webinar and his team professor s r chinchkedkar professor sujit choudhary professor rahul pande professor siddesh nagrade professor vivek ballal for their involvement and untiring efforts for the conduction of this webinar finally big thanks to our wonderful students who are actively contributed in this seminar it is your ability that made this day a very memorable one dear students study like there's no tomorrow because if you keep putting off your studies for tomorrow you all probably be too late succeeding in life is easy as long as you believe in yourself trust yourself and success will come along thank you one and all and have a nice day thank you very much sir with the permission of chair i declare this webinar is over thank you thank you all